Welcome everyone, today we will look back at the 1964 American TV series Gilligan's Island. We will take another look at the cast of the TV series and will find out what happened to them. I am also going to inform you of some intriguing facts about the show that you may not have been aware of, so let's get started. Bob Denver died at the age of 71 years in 2005 from complications following surgery for throat cancer. Alan Hale Jr. died at the age of 69 years in 1990 from cancer of the thymus. While shooting a movie in Utah, Alan Hale Jr. was contacted to return to Los Angeles for an audition for a TV show. To reach the city, he rode a horse up to a highway, got help from a hitchhiker in Las Vegas, and then flew to LA for the tryout alongside Bob Denver. Jim Backus died at the age of 76 years in 1989 from pneumonia. Natalie Schaefer died at the age of 90 years in 1991 from liver cancer. The vessel known as SS Minnow was not named after a fish, but rather was a tribute to Newton Minnow, the head of the Federal Communications Commission in 1961. Minnow made the famous comment of referring to TV as America's vast wasteland. The creator of the ship, Sherwood Schwartz, did not care for Minnow, so he named the doomed ship after him, however, Schwartz later stated that Minnow cherished the joke and the two eventually began writing to each other on a regular basis. Tina Louise was 30 years in 1964 and is 88 years old in 2023. Russell Johnson died at the age of 89 years in 2014 from kidney failure. The island scene in the beginning and end of the credits is situated in Kaneohe Bay, approximately one mile away from Oahu in Hawaii. Don Wells died at the age of 82 years in 2020 from COVID-19. Vito Scotti died at the age of 78 years in 1996 from lung cancer. In almost every episode, the radio was a Packard Bell AM radio, model AR851. The prop department added a small silver handle and an extendable antenna. This was likely done to make it more believable that the castaways could receive radio signals from such a distant location away from civilization. Hans Conried died at the age of 65 years in 1982 from heart ailment. Denny Miller died at the age of 80 years in 2014 from a myotrophic lateral sclerosis. Natalie Schaefer's contract specified that her character could not be featured in close-up shots. This was due to the fact that the producers were aware of her true age, which was 13 years more than the age of Jim Backus, the actor playing her on-screen husband. It was not until after the show's conclusion that her fellow performers learned of her actual age. John Gabriel died at the age of 90 years in 2021 from Alzheimer's disease. Nehemiah Persoff died at the age of 103 years in 2022 from congestive heart failure. The plot of the show necessitated that the actors utilize a variety of contraptions created solely from the resources that were available on the tropical island. Therefore, the props had to be specially crafted, which was a welcome departure from pulling out the typical props from the storeroom. A particular hit with the cast was the bamboo foot pedal operated car that was featured in a few of the third season episodes, with the performers queuing up to give it a spin. Zsa Zsa Gabor died at the age of 100 years in 2016 from heart attack. Larry Storch was 42 years in 1964 and is 99 years old in 2023. The initial season had the actors using cups crafted from genuine coconuts. 
Unfortunately, they discovered that these cups were permeable and absorbed liquid, as if they were perspiring. Therefore, for the subsequent seasons, the coconut cups were substituted with ceramic replicas. Harold J. Stone died at the age of 93 years in 2005 from natural causes. Booth Coleman died at the age of 92 years in 2014 from undisclosed causes. It is widely assumed that American television in the 1960s was forbidden to display female navels, yet this series features them frequently, particularly Mary Ann's, as well as Ginger's and some of the minor characters and extras. It is said the producers utilized a loophole to make this possible. Interestingly, the restriction against women's navels had been lifted by 1966. Don Rickles died at the age of 91 years in 2017 from renal disease. Phil Silvers died at the age of 74 years in 1985 from heart attack. The same set was utilized to create the film creature from the Black Lagoon as the one for the lagoon. John McGiver died at the age of 62 years in 1975 from heart attack. Rory Calhoun died at the age of 77 years in 1999 from emphysema and diabetes. It is thought that the name Ginger Grant was derived from two celebrated actors from Hollywood's golden era, Ginger Rogers and Cary Grant, who is oftentimes mentioned in this series. The term Ginger is a common pet name for somebody with red hair. Sterling Holloway died at the age of 88 years in 1992 from cardiac arrest. Kurt Russell was 14 years in 1964 and is 71 years old in 2023. Don Wells, who portrayed Mary Ann, was tragically tone deaf. When she sang even a simple song like For He's a Jolly Good Fellow, her off-pitch singing would disrupt everyone else. Consequently, she had to lip-sync. Singer-songwriter Jackie DeShannon supplied Mary Ann's singing voice for most occasions when her lack of singing ability was central to the narrative. <laughs>